Hey guys, so today I want to talk to you about something pretty cool. We all know how effective voice agents are for outbound calls through Facebook ads, especially for automated sequences. But what if someone doesn't pick up? Some people actually prefer texting because it's less direct. So what if you could seamlessly switch to a texting agent, like this one right now, has access to your knowledge base, and can even book appointments? So our agent remembers everything through Go High Level, so it's completely synced up with Go High Level. It's going to pull all the notes that it has on that specific client. It has access to three main tools, so it checks your Go High Level calendar, it creates the booking in Go High Level, and for any qualifying questions that you might have, or for anything notable on the client, the AI agent is going to create a note so that the next time you have a conversation, it'll go and pull all of that information. Lastly, we connect it to a Pinecone vector store. So it has the ability to have a knowledge base and have understanding on your business more than just what you can feed it into one single prompt. Now you can see this is the outbound auto follow-up sequence. So Facebook lead comes in, we call them two times back to back. And then if they don't answer, we engage our SMS agent, which sends them a text, waits an hour. If they don't answer, text them again. And when they do answer, we have this we have this second workflow, which is passing all of the information to this agent right here, which is going to handle the conversation and send it back to be able to respond by SMS. All right, so we're going to have a demo right now. But if you think about it, AI agents have three main purposes that are pretty much always the same. First one is they need to be able to answer questions. How much does it cost? What are your hours of operations? This is where the knowledge base comes in handy, right? The second one is to book appointments. And this is kind of broken down into two steps. First, we need to qualify that prospect. So we have a list of qualifying questions to even see if we're a good fit to work together. And then from there, it's to update the CRM, right? Take all of that information and store it in a place that your clients can simply open and understand the issue going on. And so let's test it out. Okay, so now this is fully AI. It's fully connected to go high level. Right. Just asked it, how are you doing? I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. How about you? How can I assist you today with your business needs? Right. Do you guys provide both inbound and outbound agents? Now you can see it's hitting that knowledge base to get that information, formulating the response and then outputting. Yeah, we offer both inbound and outbound agents. Our inbound agents handle tasks like receptionist duties and customer support, while our outbound agents can help with lead qualification and appointment booking. Okay. How long does it take to set up? Once again, hitting that knowledge base coming back with the answer to that question. I can get you set up. I don't know the answer, but I can get you set up with a, a with a call for you. That'd be great. Okay. Did you tell me a bit about your business and what you're looking to automate? So now it's starting to ask the qualifying questions. So I run a real estate business and we're looking to automate outbound lead generation. So there you go. It just went, it created a note. So it's like, hmm, we got some interesting information. Let's go create a note on this guy. And if we hop into here and I hit refresh, you can now see that this has been created. If I hop in here and hit refresh, you can see that the note has now been updated. The user runs a real estate business and is interested in automating outbound lead gen. So there you go. Gave it my monthly revenues, said I'm willing to invest in myself. Awesome. We're a good fit. Now let's discuss how we can set up automating your outbound lead gen. Can you let me know a preferred date and time for the call? Look at that. We got our second note in here. We run a real estate business, five to 10K. They're willing to invest in the solution. And all of this is real time, guys. This is happening literally within seconds. So can you let me know a preferred time for the call? Oh, can you do Friday at 2 p.m.? Let's check in availability. It's creating a new note. And now it's going to create that booking. Boom. Your meeting is booked for Friday at 2 p.m. It should last about 30 minutes and you'll get an email with the details soon. If you have any other questions, just let me know. And if we hop into the calendar at 2 p.m. on Friday, we see that this demo has been booked. Now, why are we using Go High Level? Go High Level is a fully integrated CRM, meaning that when this client books in, we now have a boatload of other automations that we can hit them with. We can start sending them text reminders. We can send them content that nurtures this person. You can see they've now been updated in the pipeline to booked meeting with the date, some different notes that we have. And now this booked meeting is going to trigger the auto reminders. Like it's extremely powerful, fully automated. It's like having a team of people working for you, but they're trained instantly. And they cost a fraction of what you'd pay a human to do the exact same task. So I'm not going to go through the whole build because it is quite long in order to set all of this up. If you are a business looking to implement this sort of solution, there's a link down below to my calendar. And I'll be giving this exact automation away completely for free to the top contributors in my community every single week. We're at 1,000 members and continuing to grow. And I hope to see you in there and seeing what you contribute. Now, with that being said, there are a few main things that I want to explain in this video. I do have a video, another video, which goes more in depth into 
how you can set up your AI SMS agent, what was not covered in that video. And so this is kind of like an upgrade. You can see here V2 was we added the memory. So it's pulling back all the notes, the ability to create notes on that specific person, and then your vector store, which is your knowledge base. So those are the three elements I'm going to be covering in this video. And we're going to be starting first with getting all of the memories on this past client. And what's cool too, is that the AI knows. So the next time we go and have the conversation, right? Let's say this conversation window ends, it times out after however long. And I come back a few days later with a couple more questions. When that conversation starts, the AI is going to go, it's going to pull all of that information and it's going to pass it to my AI agent. So my AI agent knows this information. So not only will it not create the exact same notes because it now has that information, but it's also going to be smarter because it has, because it knows more about you. So the first endpoint that we're using within Go High Level is the get all notes endpoint. So you can see right here, we need the contact ID as well as authorization and your access token and the version and API history. So it's a pretty simple one. Going to plug this in, then you need to get your contact ID. So how do you get your contact ID? If you click on any contact down at the bottom, you'll see this view audit logs. And when you click on that, it'll provide you with that specific user's ID. So we'll copy that. We'll drop it back into here. And then we just need the two header fields. So authorization, bearer, followed by your API token, and then the version and the value. You can see this was a specific output that we had. So the body was, you know, with every single message, it was getting smarter. So, hey, they run a real estate business, right? From our example that I just showed you. Now, one of the things I had to do was use this split out function. Because what happens is that the fields that we want to split out is notes. But in order to split out notes, it's just going to grab the latest note. And we couldn't do that. We needed to have the body essentially from every single note. So this is going, it's splitting it out. And then after that, we're aggregating. So you can see it splits it out into two items. And then we're going to aggravate all item data into a single list. And we're going to put the output in a field. We called it memories. And now you can see that it's combined all of this into nice JSON, which has all of them contained together. After that, we merge it together. So we get the message being asked on the first input. And then we go and grab all of the memories, merge them together. And then that hits our AI agent. And then we have a customer info section where we're saying, hey, here are the last noteworthy memories that we've collected from this user. And then think carefully about the responses and take the user's preferences into account. And then we give memory instructions that say, after each message, if there's any new noteworthy info, you know, save that using the create note tool. And so this create note tool, it's actually a subflow. So you could see right here, we are using the create note endpoint. So same same thing that we just had, right? Contact ID notes in the body. We're going to need just the body, the message. So I can show you how that looks right now. It's literally identical. You need the contact ID, you need notes, authorization, bearer, your API token. And then in the body, we are passing the body, which is coming from this previous step. So you could see create note tool, use this tool to create memorable notes on the user. And we are choosing that workflow, the body, defined automatically by the model. So you can see here query body and the description is a memorable note on the user. Lastly, we need to create the knowledge base. So I actually have a secondary workflow here where we're looking at a specific Google Drive. And whenever a file is created in that Google Drive, we're going to download that file and then upload it to our vector store. So you'll need a Pinecone account in this Pinecone account. We'll continue with Google. So you'll have to create an index. This is mine I created called Target Dial Knowledge Base. Once that's created, you'll need your API key. So hop into API keys and create your connection to that account. After that, the operation mode is we're going to be inserting documents. And then from the index, we're going to choose that index that we created. And then we're going to give it a name. So the Pineco namespace in this case is called Target Dial Knowledge Base. You can name it, you know, company name and your knowledge base. And then from there, we are going to need embeddings. So I'm using the text three embedding small, which is the same one that we have here. So when you create that knowledge base, you can see my embedding model matches the same embedding model that we're going to be using right here. And then for the documents, we're using the default document loader. The type of data is going to be binary. And one of the options that we're adding is metadata, where the name of the file is going to be equal to the name of the file that we're getting from our Google Drive when we download that folder. And then we're using a recursive character text splitter with a chunk size of 500 and a chunk overlap of 20. So now in our Google Drive trigger, we're hitting it every single minute. And I just made a folder, it's called knowledge base. And so that when you, whenever you upload a knowledge base, 
which is this file right here. I made a really simple knowledge base. It's got my company overview, the markets that we service, our service and offerings, our customer support and troubleshoot, any objection handling. And so when I go and upload it, the next thing Google Drive is going to do is download by ID. And we're just passing the ID from the previous node. So if you wanted to fetch test event, that's exactly how you would do it. And then you'd hop into here and just look for the ID. So there under spaces, you get the ID. So drag the ID in there. And if you have everything else set up, now it's going to create that knowledge base. And then if we hop back into here, we're going to add a tool and you're going to search vector and it's going to be this vector store question answer tool. So you would just add that. Now the data that I named it is the target dial knowledge base. It's going to return information related to our services and offerings, and then add in your vector store model. So it's going to be the pinecone vector store. Now you're going to choose it from the list and then add the namespace that we created as well. We're going to need our embedding model. Embeddings open AI, make sure it's on the text three embedding small. And then lastly, we need our chat model, which is the open AI chat. And you can use 4.0 mini, you can use 4.0 for whatever you prefer. And then once you have that, you're good to go and your agent is fully set up. So this is incredibly powerful. If you pair this with voice, now you have an omni-channel AI agent that's synced with your CRM. Like I don't think you realize the power of having it directly synced with your CRM the ability to move it within the pipeline and automate a bunch of other sequences. So with that being said, I hope you got immense value out of this. If you did, I'd really appreciate a subscribe. It's free, helps support the channel and allows me to keep making videos like this for you. I'll catch you on the next one. Have a great day. Peace.